Hey, good morning. It's Eric. Um, and let's see, part in the close-up. I haven't figured out this whole camera thing yet. Uh, it's kind of weird. I want to do close-ups, but anyway, I like to do one shot, one take. So, uh, weird phenomena. So I've got my double split flywheel angled thing in there. And um, ever since the early days, I've been having this phenomena that I, that I thought was related to just kind of spring back of the wire. Um, basically, you know, as I spin things around, uh, I, I coil up the wire and then I, I remove power and then it unwinds itself. So it like spins one direction, spin. Let me show you. Okay, real simple. There's a... Uh... Now I remove power and it goes back in the other direction. I th think to myself, okay, that's because the wire has coiled itself up. At least that's what I sort of convinced myself of. But it turns out that's not really the case. It, it, um, cause watch this, ready? And if I break, you'll see it happen even quicker. Right, I'm breaking the motors by just shorting them so the current goes back through them. Um, so uh, it, it kind of makes it, I guess, you know, I have a force in one direction and then it's, it's the change in angular uh, velocity, right? I mean, or, or turning real fast against a, a, a thing, that's what's supposed to give it the, the spin. So it, it makes sense that um, when you stop, you have this same change in velocity if you stop quickly, as you did when you started quickly, so it should go in the opposite direction. Um, but I haven't seen that happen in, in James's videos. So maybe this is, this video is directed towards James to say like, has he ever experienced that kind of, okay, you start and then you stop again. And, and, and if so, how do you mitigate that? Is it a matter of controlling acceleration and deceleration? Um, I think it, it, it kind of changes with regards to how the mass is distributed. Cause right now, basically all, almost all of the mass in the, the robot is, is actually the spinners themselves, with the exception of like one five pound weight at the bottom, just to give it a little bit better balance, since it's like all not really how it's supposed to be in unbalance. So, um, yeah, I don't know. If you have any thoughts on that, hopefully this isn't some kind of fundamental crazy thing. Uh, that's I, I can't imagine it's inherent of the dual flywheels because it's it's all about angular momentum and things, and that should apply. It seems like that should apply with dual or single flywheels. Um, so post your thoughts uh, wherever the, in, in the, the comment feed. Let me know what you think. Um, and yeah, let's, let's try to figure that out. One more time, right? Crazy, right?